when they came back to Jerusalem and they built the new temple, the cult and the rites started again. Why is it interesting for us? It's because this temple is the one where Jesus was preaching. The same temple. And when they reestablished the sacrifices and the preaching of the, the law of God and all the worship, we can understand that this temple is the one met by Jesus, the one about Jesus who was speaking, the one who was praying, the one who was destroyed again according to his, his teaching. Remember, the Romans destroyed this temple in the year 70 after Jesus. It means that Jesus was there. And when he saw this beautiful temple, remember he said it will be destroyed. Why? Not only because of the historical problem in the war between the Romans and the Jewish in that time, it's because the new worship is given by Jesus. Because we have to worship in spirit and truth. Because now the new temple is the body of Jesus, the risen body of Jesus. Because the new priest is Jesus himself. Because his sacrifice is enough to save us. Because where we can meet God in Jesus himself. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the gate. Jesus is the new temple. And when we are involved by our baptism in his death and resurrection, when we have received the Holy Spirit in our confirmation, and every time when we are together asking the Holy Spirit to build the church, to build the new <coughs> temple, we are this new temple. So it's important for us to read what happened. Yes, it's twisting, but to understand that what happened in the past is preparing the new reality, the new spirituality, the new worship through Jesus Christ. Now the temple is destroyed in Jerusalem. We don't need it anymore. Jesus is the one. And now we offer the unique sacrifice of Jesus on his cross and resurrection. He's the one we are celebrating.